Turns out, I got a new problem with my printer. Whenever I try to set up something, I have zeros. And no matter how big of a size I print on the slicer, they're still coming out normal size, if not smaller, and just wrong. So it's time for us to figure out what it is on this week's Tech Talk. So after typing in why my printer is acting this way, turns out one of my solutions was to update the firmware. The reason I never did was because when the update came out last year, there was so many complaints. Thankfully, Creality has come up with a solution, and I'm going to try it, but first, you need this. Yes, it's a micro SD card, and there is a reason for it, and we'll find out later on in the video. But the importance of this is make sure it is this brand and this brand alone. I used a Gigastone micro SD card and it gave me this. All right, guys, so we are here. We are at our web browser. We're gonna go ahead and type in Creality. We're gonna go ahead and go into the website. We are going to mosey on down over to company and click on download. And then it's going to open up. We're going to look for our printer series, the Ender series. We are going to scroll down till we see the Ender 3VSE. Click on that. And here we have the file that we're supposed to be downloading, the 1.0.6 firmware update, because that's the latest one that they have. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the download. We are gonna go ahead and open it. We are going to go ahead and extract. Beautiful. And now we're gonna to go to my PC and open up the micro SD card. So now we are going to format it to the proper settings. So make sure you have the correct micro SD card. So the reason why I chose this one is because you have to make sure that it actually says FAT32. It can't be XFAT because it will not accept it. And then make sure that it is 4,096 kilobytes and we're gonna go ahead and format it. Beautiful. And now we're gonna go ahead and go into the folder, and this is the folder that is going to update the screen display. And that is the first thing that we need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and copy it, and we're gonna go ahead and paste it. And now let's go ahead and plug it into our printer and let it update the display screen. We're gonna go ahead and pop this up. And bam, there it is. A slot for a micro SD card. I know, again, it doesn't make sense. Here they have it here, but they don't have it for the main uh, system itself. I don't get it either. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pop this in until it clicks. All right, heard the clicking sound. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the machine. All right, again, this is what you want. You have to make sure that it says this. See, this is what you want. If you did not get this message, it has something to do with your card. You either do not reformat it in the proper settings that I showed earlier, or it's a bad card and you have to get a new one. Now the next stage is to install the update for the main system itself. All right, so we can go ahead and delete this. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my PC and I'm going to reformat the flash drive. All right, and now we are gonna go ahead and copy and paste the file, which is gonna update the entire system. Now, this is where I heard a lot of people have this problem. Some have it, some don't. Some say that by just uploading this into the system, it caused a problem. However, there is a solution 
to where you only have to put in one, two, three dot bin instead, and it works. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposefully have the program installed like this to see if there's any problems. If the problem ensues, we are going to go back again, put in the one, two, three and see what happens. We're supposed to wait for 10 seconds. So let's see what happens. Okay, everything seems to be going as planned. Yep, yep, everything is good. So now it's gonna do a little quick test run. Now, if you notice that your screen has changed, it no longer gives you the actual um, measurements of the, you know, um, auto Z leveling. Don't worry, you can always change it back. Doing so, because all this is, is just showing you the 16 point, you know, uh, bed leveling. So you go to confirm, go to control, edit leveling data, and bam, see? So everything's now back to normal. Go ahead and go to confirm, because I'm gonna keep it as is. And let's go ahead and test this printer out and see if this is what's going to fix the problem. I was planning on doing a Beerus model, but that's when I was having some problems. And so uh, right now the size is about 100. I want just for kicks and giggles, let's go with 150. There you have it, folks. It's not the best of work because uh, the setting that I put in, I just printed it. So I should have paid attention to the setting because I have so many settings. This was one of my older um, selections when I was first printing out and I don't know why I haven't deleted it. This is the original size. Uh, this is the, the 100%. So I just wanted to, you know, check for size. So now, um, now that I know that I can actually print enlarged prints now, instead of just printing the normal 100%, I'm going to go in and uh, go find my original settings and start printing again. Okay, so as you can see, this is my settings that I have when, for when I print. Um, nothing that a little sanding won't cure. But, you know, like I said, this is how I, uh, this is my settings for when I print. But overall, like I said, it came out as beautiful as I hoped it would. And I, it, we're back in business. So a part of me is honestly glad that this happened because I want to always understand and figure out this printer because I love tinkering with things and figuring out the what's and why's. Just so you know, I will be doing more videos like this in the future. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you click on that like button. Make sure you click on the subscribe button. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out that video where I unclog some filament.